Hello and welcome back to NetApp Converge 2024. Glad to have you on board with us. So excited about this. We as I kind of teased a little bit, we have a panel. I'm joined back by Sandeep Singh, a SVP and GM for NetApp. I'm also joined by Bob Petty, who's the VP and General Manager for Enterprise Platforms at NVIDIA, and Carmen Amini, who's the Vice President and GM of Lenovo Server Storage and Software. So, welcome on board, guys. This is like, I mean, really huge announcement today. Fantastic. I think, again, you can't get through, I, I mean, I think we'd be thrown off the internet if we didn't talk about <laughs> AI today, and especially the fact that there's an AI pod. I, I think, again, I, I, we were talking and I'm like, hey, listen, I was here when FlexPod started back in the days. That's how old I am, I guess, from that perspective and how far I go back. But I think one of the things that has changed is you know, we're a year and a half out from kind of that chat GPT moment. People are looking at Gen AI and saying, okay, great, I wanted to test the waters, maybe I got into some pilots and proof of concepts, but now what? So what are you guys seeing from a market perspective with Gen AI and how it's really being deployed? Yeah, so I, I, uh, I'll take a stab at that first. Um, you know, we've, we've seen a tremendous boost in the, in the cloud in terms of building large language models, as you mentioned, chat GPT moment, the iPhone moment for AI. But uh, a lot of, we've established this enterprise platform groups at NVIDIA specifically to address what we see as the biggest opportunity. And more than half, 50, 75% of the AI in the world we see to be done on-prem. Uh, from a you know, government regulation standpoint, uh, a sovereign AI standpoint, IP standpoint, you want the AI running where your data is. And that's why something like the AI pod is so, so significant. So, People are, have done the POCs. Um, they might be a little concerned about do they need the same infrastructure as Google? And the answer to that, as you'll see, is, is no. Um, but we definitely see the, the enterprise explosion beginning to happen now. And uh, this effort, I think, is, is uh, going to make it easy for people to, to get started and continue to grow uh, in, a, uh, in a graceful way. Yeah, and I would just add to it, you know, customers uh, enterprises are absolutely looking at how do they harness the power of Gen AI and you know, make it work for them in the context of their enterprise. So it becomes critically important for them of how do they take enterprise data, combine it with the pre-trained LLMs. And this is just that opportunity of providing a AI pod uh, that basically packages the best of breed across NVIDIA, across Lenovo and NetApp and provides that in a pre-validated, pre-integrated form factor to customers um, so that they can effectively just do Gen AI or, or RAG in a box uh, in that way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. and I think this is where customers that have tons of data, they want to get a business outcome out of that data. And this is where AI comes into play. And I think the partnership between the three of us here is about how do we make it easy for them and be able to get outcome-driven value with the solution we could deliver. Yeah, I, 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 think that, I, I think that is the outcome. And what we see, and we, uh, we partner up with a company called ETR, they do quarterly tech spending intentions, and one of the things they do is look at AI use cases, be it, hey, we want to do, you know, for software development, well, I don't want my code going out into the public cloud and things of that nature. I want to do customer support or customer success, help, you know, with that people be more responsive to customers. And then there's also kind of the marketing or, co or uh, I guess, you say uh, messaging generation type of stuff that they're using. Those are kind of the three things. What are, what are kind of the attributes that end user organizations will really find compelling out of the, these three, the three of you coming together to build this AI pod? Why don't we start with Carmen? I think it's about how we could bring the best of the technologies. Um, you know, as, as Bob implied, the early adopters of AI was all the cloud service providers that drove massive scale of large language model systems. Most of the enterprise customers that did not have the skills or the knowledge of what do we do around AI, it's about the partnership we could bring in to really simplify that journey, right? Um, you know, AI is, you know, at the old days we're thinking cloud. It was very scary initially when you thought about cloud, what should I do at an enterprise customer? AI is the same concept and I think 
we're trying to bring the value to simplify that experience and the journey between the partnerships we have here. Yeah, no, absolutely. And the, you know, the work to do training and large language model training is very different from what uh, we believe enterprises want to do, are doing, and will need to do. And that's taking those models, um, fine tuning them, and then adding additional data to them, call it retrieval augmented generation or RAG workflows, so that it represents their semantics, their language, their industry semantics, their, their company metrics, and their data. Um, and you know, our uh, NVIDIA AI enterprise is, is a, has been founded to really help the enterprise get to the data with things like Nemo Retriever that NetHap has uh, integrated into their 800 storage platform um, to set up guardrails because they care about privacy and security. Uh, they want to take advantage of all the latest and greatest features. Um, you know, running on the Lenovo platform and accessing data on NetApp, so we have NIMS microservices um, that are updated on a regular basis so they can get the finely tuned AI for their respective use cases. Um, and I think you know, just the, the, the culmination of a fantastic platform that Lenovo has and the management stack um, NVIDIA GPUs and our OVX certified uh, reference platform with L40S GPUs, AI Enterprise, and the, the, the coup de grace, the piece that I've been salivating over, is the integration with NetApp, um, with Nemo Retriever. You own half, half the enterprise data in the world? It's um, close. Yeah, majority of the enterprise that are storing their unstructured data sets on NetApp. Yeah, right. so if you're building a chatbot for customer service, that chatbot's got to access your customer service database, it's got to access your CRM, your sales database. Um, you're not going to upload that to the cloud. Yeah, I, I, I guess what you're really getting at is kind of what the, the secret sauce is that you're each bringing to this, and, and I, I think, why don't we kind of jump into that, because you started going down that. And yeah, and maybe I'll at a higher level first, I'll just you know, also articulate that. We have had a long, rich history of partnering with NVIDIA. Uh, at the same time, Lenovo and NetApp have had a five-year you know, amazing partnership and we're all together taking this to the next level. Um, it's bringing that best of breed across compute and GPUs and the right storage infrastructure and then combining it with the necessary software stacks and overall you know, gen AI capabilities um, that organizations need. That's what this ultimately AI pod represents. Uh, making it easy to use, making it, bringing the power along uh, to go and do retrieval augmented generation, fine tuning or inferencing, and make it affordable uh, for enterprise customers. Yeah, and and easy, easy to build upon. What I love about the AI pod is you, People may think, like I said, you, they have to go build this massive infrastructure, and at maybe some point they will, but they can start with the right size, continue to add use cases, and as data grows and use cases grows and value grows, they've got these very easy, deployable chunks of these AI pods that they can deploy throughout the enterprise. Yeah, I think the key thing we're trying to do as Lenovo and the partnership we've established with both NetApp and NVIDIA is bringing AI to all. Uh, because again, AI is a journey and it's a different size and deployment for every size of customers from a small, medium to all the way large enterprise customers. And it's how do you make it easy? How do you take the best of breed of technologies, put it together for the application, generating RAG and inferencing and actually be able to consume and deploy and get the outcome that you're looking for. And that's the value we're bringing together, three of us. Yeah, no, I, I think it's it's key because we actually talk about it and back in September we came out with this power law of Gen AI where you all the way on the left here, on the left here, left, <laughs> that would be my left, <laughs> there right, uh, you, you really have all of those large language models that are getting, you know, built, the chat GPTs, the, you know, uh, all of the ones, the Titans and uh, every, every other one that the cloud guys have, but that's those guys, they're building those. Most companies are not building huge LLMs. That's what they're right. doing is taking an open model, you know, taking a llama to a llama three. Fine yeah, fine tuning it and bring it, they're bringing it on-prem and then fine tuning it for financial services because I want to help my customers support people understand 
how to answer a question when it's complex, still keeping human in the loop, to your point, and that's got to be a piece of it with the guardrails and how you bring it all together with the open models. Yeah, no, absolutely. The, the, you know, we, we want ethical AI first and foremost. Uh, and we, we want to protect data privacy and then we have a slew of rec, you know, regulations and, uh, that we're going to have to adhere to. Um, that's why the data and the access to the data and these REG yep. workflows is so important. Who can access it, when can they access, what information can they get to, and then what guardrails do you place on um, what, what, how far you let AI you know, imagine uh, so that you can avoid hallucinations and that's any right. unnecessary outcomes. I, I want to touch on one point in terms of bringing that infrastructure down is, you know, we collectively designed this to ensure that it could easily fit into the enterprise footprint. You know, so it's got our Spectrum X Ethernet. It's not InfiniBan like you typically see in large scale. It's got Spectrum X and InfiniBan. You know, we're putting it into 10K, 12K racks, right. not 100K yes. powered racks that you see in the cloud. So it's really meant to be an easy drop into your existing uh, infrastructure and, and get going. Those are fantastic points to just reinforcing that the design center here is for enterprises to be able to easily consume it and bring their you know, data and do rag with it and make, leverage <laughs> NAI with it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a great place to kind of like leave it from that perspective because I think it is about the use cases. And but I will ask one last question. If we're sitting here a year from now after this guy is done talking and start talking about this and say, hey, listen, here, here's what success has looked like for the last year. What are you hoping to see for next year? Look, I think it, it starts first and foremost with helping customers, being that strategic partner to customers, uh, in enabling them to truly go and harness the power of Gen AI and AI. Um, that's the beginning point uh, for the success, what success looks like uh, for the AI pod. Um, secondly, I will add is basically for our overall partners, mm -hmm. this is a fantastic opportunity for partners because partners are the go-to-market motion here. Um, they are the ones that now also get to take their customers and help them harness the power of Gen AI. Um, while delivering all of the pre-integration services at the same time. Um, so there's an absolute metric here of making sure that this is a successful outcome uh, for our overall go-to-market partners. And then for the three of us, uh, this just continues to represent, in my view, of that collaboration that customers are expecting as vendors, uh, where we are the stewards of enabling this enterprise and responsible AI for them. Yeah. No, I yeah, no, I think, I think it's a great point. It, certainly, um, I would like to, a year from now, I'd like no one to be fearful or afraid to implement. People should be starting now, and a year from now, they should have demonstrable proof across a number of different use cases within, and it's it's not just about making more money or making more profit, it's about improving lives, improving productivity. You know, to, to go all uh, visionary, it's it's curing cancer, it's curing yeah. world hunger, it's, it's enabling, you know, underserved communities by bringing this technology down and, and automating some of the things that um, allow people to focus on um, in, improving the quality of their lives. But for, first and foremost, is I, I'd like people to accept this as the way of computing, because it, it is. It is going to be the way of computing um, from, from here on out, and uh, you know, it's, it's fear no more. I think it's you know, echoing both it's about being considered the trusted partner for our customer's journey in AI. And as Sandeep said, it's bringing our channel partner community as they're the other arms that are engaged with our end customers mutually to really enable delivering the power of AI to drive different business outcomes for our customers. So we're, we're very excited. Yeah, I, I, I love leaving things on a very positive note. <laughs> I'm very positive about Gen AI and AI in general, and uh, I think again, this is I, I think really exciting news that you guys are launching today. And I think just you know walking around last night and talking to partners, they're excited about all the news over this this week here, and are really leaning in on this. And I, I think it's great. So you know, thank you for having us here, and thank you for being on with us. And you know, again, hope to have you back uh, you know next year when we're talking about the successes. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Bob. Thank you.
Cameron. Thank you, appreciate it, Cindy. <laughs> so, and thank you for watching theCUBE here. We're talking about tech, analysis, and news, and we're the best at it, so stay tuned, and we've got more to come from Converge 2024 with NetApp.